and welcome to the very last video in our series looking at Bergamuller's Opus 100 Etudes. Did you recognise that one? It's actually the last one in the book. It's number 25, La Chevaleresque. And it's a fabulous showstopper of a piece, really, if it's in the hands of a confident student. Now, I would suggest it's really at about late intermediate level. And the more confident they are at moving across the piano, at having a really firm rhythmical sense, at really being able to maintain a steady pulse throughout a piece, then the more successful their performance will be. It's a piece that really captures the imagination and a bit like in the ballad, which was the last video I did, it tells a story. So let's look at that a little bit more. So the title in itself, La Chevaleresque, means a uh, chival chivalrous, chivalrous. Now, to be chivalrous is something that is very much associated with um, medieval knights. And if you think about them in their gear, um, armour, etc. And you always think of them on a horse as well. And if you think about that word, La Chevaleresque, cheval, C-H-E-V-A-L actually is French for horse. So the horse is absolutely bound up in that and I'm sure you could hear in that bit I was playing then what is happening there. Can you hear what gait of the horse have we got? Walk, trot, canter or gallop. To me that's a trot, trip, chop, chip, chop. <clears throat> So um, this piece, Chivalrous Nights, I think that will really help your uh, students to bring it to life, as will maybe the sight of a, of a picture like this. This is just an illustration I found that's over there on iStock. Um, and it's got the medieval jousting going on, obviously. It's got some, some audience, including some lovely ladies, and this is partly why I chose this, watching. So. In these medieval days, of course, it was very distinct, the behaviours between men and women. Men were the ones who went off to battle. The women stayed at home and, of course, played an important role, but that wasn't recognised in those days. But the knight would fight for um, a lady and a lady would give the knight her favour, which you can see in the form of a handkerchief. And of, often the handkerchiefs would be um, put on the knight's helmet or tied somewhere. So I think you need to give the picture for, for a student who might not otherwise have that. So then let's look at the music and see how that is brought to life. I've already shown you the first bit. I think that's the trotting. And then if you imagine the joust going on itself, you get the two riders, as we just saw in the picture, approaching each other. Oh, at gallop, here we go. Do you not think that's the gallop coming up here? Yeah. And then going away, and again. Yeah. And it's a really good example as well of the rhythmical sense the students need. I can't tell you how many performances I've heard of this where the, where the pulse changes, the tempo changes all the way through according to the different sections. So let's say this is A, that's really setting your basic tempo. This bit is B in triplets. And there's your B section. Then it goes back to A, just for a short time. And then here comes C. Now I think that's the love interest. I think that's the, uh, the jousting just put to one side and the rider, the horse rider, trotting over to his lady and, oh, madam, I love you so much. Would you give me your, your handkerchief for your favour? Because it goes piano delicato, love interest. And that again is triplets. And again, you need to get that steady rhythm. Bergman then takes you up high into the piano for um, the rest of that. And then, here we go, we're back to trotting again. Still at the same tempo. And that goes on. And then, 
we get towards the end bit. And here, I think we're getting ready for the final run here. So we start with this. Which I think is trotting, but quite a fast trot, because then we go into a canter. Just be careful because that gallop, it's the only semiquavers in the piece and it invariably slows down just when it needs to go to this wonderful ending. So you might start, and okay, it's just scales, I know. I One approach to teaching this would be to take out these different rhythmical elements, maybe to teach them all separately in terms of you, you break the piece up a little bit and um, that could be almost the first thing. Sorry. those semiquavers with an increasing metronome speed or something and then that can set the tempo for the beginning. La Chavaleresque, the last one in our series looking at Bergmuller's Opus 100. Now I just want to finish with this final thought because these are just such super pieces and if you haven't seen the rest of our series then do look on our YouTube channel. Bergmuller was writing this in 1851, around then, so we're looking at 170 years ago. But these pieces are just as fresh and appealing as they were in the day, in, on the day that he wrote them. Students love doing these because he manages to capture drama, story, emotion, the whole gamut of human nature basically is in these studies and done in such an inventive, creative and musical way. I really recommend them to you if you haven't found them so far. So I'll see you again. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon in another video. Bye bye.